Okay, so we're here with the latest update, FSD Beta 10.69.3. Just went for my first two drives, they were both zero takeover, so now we're going to go on our third and probably final drive of the night. Let's check it out. Take me to Presidio Golf Course. So you just say where you want to go, that's it, then we're off. Even the last update was pretty good, it was taking me all around San Francisco today without me doing much. This update seems to be even smoother, more cautious, more gentle, more human-like. Looks like we're about 12 minutes away from the destination. It's around midnight here in San Francisco, so not too much traffic, but still a little bit. Not here, obviously. So this is the month that Tesla is supposed to open up the beta program to everybody who has a Tesla in North America. And uh, based on what I'm seeing here in San Francisco, I think they're ready. It's not going to be perfect, obviously, but this is about the right moment to do it. You don't want to release it when it's too good or people will become complacent. Right now it's about at the level of stability, probably greater than what was on autopilot when I bought my first Tesla. All right, very smooth right turn. It committed well to it, despite the fact that there was a car coming. Slow down for that speed bump, that's great. Really smooth, gentle driving gear. Probably more smooth and gentle than what I'm capable of as a human. If you want to give your riders comfort, FSD Beta already uh, does pretty well on that. He stopped, slowed down a little bit late for that speed bump. Speed bumps generally it needs to improve on. It often stops too late or not at all. Again there, didn't really slow for that speed bump. Very good. Nice. Did a good job of waiting for all the cars to go there. Even when I was like, okay, it looks like it's clear to go. Why isn't it going? Then I looked and realized there were more cars coming. So you can definitely see how this would be really useful to augment your senses when you're driving manually or on autopilot. And I noticed that a lot. I notice it exceeding my perception capabilities very frequently. Like, obviously it's still much dumber than a human, but Often it'll see lights turn green before I do and start moving. Often it'll see lights turn yellow or red before I do and respond before I notice. Often it'll notice people or cars or things that I didn't notice before I do. Um, so you're definitely starting to see the capability um, 
and the potential for it to exceed human, at least in some areas. One area where it definitely exceeds humans is focus. It always has complete focus, it's never distracted. There are a lot of things that uh, this thing is going to be able to help humans with. Very smooth stop there. I could never stop that smoothly. I mean, I think people are gonna be blown away by this product when they try it for the first time later this month. It does pretty much what they said it would do. You get in the car, you tell it where you want to go, anywhere in the country, and it just drives you there, and you sit there. Simple as that. It's not 100% perfect, but they're working hard on it. They're constantly shipping updates, and it's gonna to continue to get better. They delivered on basically what everyone said was impossible for them to do. And, I've ridden, ridden in Waymo, I've driven, ridden in Cruise. This software is much better in many respects. The number one thing about it being that you can use it anywhere, whereas the other services are limited to very small areas. When you get in those other cars, you can hear these really loud computers in the trunk. Tesla has this FSD computer that's silent, that's power efficient, that extends the range, you know, two to three times the range that you can get in those other cars. It works in the highway while those others don't. Trying some of the other cars definitely made me realize how unique what Tesla has here. And it's also just much faster. It's able to arrive at the destination much faster. And it's able to do with just cameras what everyone else needs a lot of sensors to be able to do. turn coming up at this street. Great. Very smooth left turn. Calm, smooth, perfect. I can't believe how much it's doing with just the cameras that ship with it. Approaching our destination now, we're just one minute away.
And here we are, we made it to our destination. So all three out of three drives I've done so far have been zero takeover. Pretty good update so far.